the repeated bout effect exists. Ever notice how when you first start training, extreme soreness and muscle performance decrease in the multiple days after? But after further weeks of training, soreness is minimal and no longer is muscle performance hampered for multiple days after. This is because of the repeated bout effect, the name given to the range of adaptations your body produces to make you resilient to damage, soreness, and force production decreases. It's not clear precisely what creates the repeated bout effect, but a 2017 study hypothesized neural, muscle tendon, connective tissue, and inflammatory adaptations may all play a role. Now, many studies aiming to examine the time course of recovery after lifting weights only do so after a single training session. For example, this study found after trained men performed a session consisting of three sets of repetitions to failure with a 12 rep max load, on the bench press and squat, performance was still not fully recovered 48 hours after the session. Some may say this data indicates if you're training with multiple sets to failure, more than 48 hours of rest is required between sessions. However, this suggestion ignores the fact that the recovery time course was only examined after one training session. What would happen to the recovery time course after repeatedly training with multiple sets to failure? Due to the repeated bout effect, we'd expect recovery durations to progressively become shorter. My favourite study demonstrating this concept is this paper. They had 12 previously untrained men perform 5 sets of 15 maximal eccentric only leg extension repetitions on an isokinetic dynamometer once a week for 10 weeks. Due to the machines, training loads would have increased as subjects got stronger. 5 sets of 15 maximal eccentric repetitions are extremely fatiguing. Eccentric training is known to produce more soreness and damage compared to normal training when first exposed to it. The data from the study demonstrates this. After the first training session, creatine kinase, an indirect measure of muscle damage, was significantly elevated a day later, and muscle soreness and maximal isometric force production were still decreased 5 days after the session. However, as the training weeks progressed, the repeated bout effect kicked in and all markers gradually decreased. This is something I feel people underappreciate. By the 10th week, the training session produced no soreness, no creatine kinase increases, and no decreases in maximal isometric force in the upcoming days. In other words, subjects were recovering within 24 hours of the intense eccentric training session after 10 weeks of consistent training. Again, I'm not saying your body can recover from an infinite amount of training. Rather, the body can adapt robustly and handle a good amount of training over time. I feel high-intensity training regimes underappreciate this.